Okay, I'm just going to give a high-level overview of the new features in the WordPress plugin for SMS using Twilio. Uh, we now have basically features that surround the ability to set up clients and a different way or enhanced ways to send text messages. Uh, under SMS list, if you go to Twilio settings, you now have the ability to create sub-accounts in Twilio. This allows you to segregate your information, your phone numbers, from other sub-accounts. So when you create a client and you assign them to a sub-account, you can keep all their data and information, phone numbers, separate. You can also suspend accounts, which is handy if someone's not paying or you just need to stop an account for uh, temporarily. It will stop all activity in and out for that client. Um, you can, uh, if we go into SMS list, you can now, if I click on one of these here, you can now assign uh, users to your list. So if I um, create a user, there is a new user role called SMS user in WordPress. So you can create a user in, in here and cr create it as an SMS user and you can assign access for that user to one or more lists. So you can see on this list I've enabled two additional users. Admin will always have access to anything. You don't really have to worry about that one, but um, you can add one or more. So if you have a client and they have multiple logins, you can allow multiple people to access the list. And then um, if we go into, let's go ahead and look at clients. Oh, hold on one second. Let me back up here. One thing I wanted to show you is you can also assign a list to a client and basically what that does is it, it can be a little confusing because we you have users and clients users are kind of independent it's just a user account on WordPress and you can give any user access the client really what that does is it allows you to override Twilio settings so that if this client has and I'll show you this in a second uh, if this client has a, a sub account on your system in Twilio or maybe they're using their own Twilio account and you want to use those settings you can do that you can assign so I'm assigning this list to this client settings alright so let's go back into my clients and look at the settings for this client so um, this list here is a Twilio sub account list so the sub accounts that I've created um, show up in this drop down here and uh, you you have a couple options here one is use a sub account under your main Twilio account which I've already shown you or if they have their own account uh, you can enter their Twilio settings in here and then they will you will only see um, their information uh, also you can uh, see their phone numbers that they have set up and then you can you can edit them right here in place so um, if you need to edit the URLs they should all be set up automatically but you can edit them here um, getting a, a new phone number type in an area code and um, click on the button to buy a number and it will automatically add it here and um, it will auto, it will use whatever settings you have selected up here so you need to make sure that these are correct if you're going to use a sub account make sure you have that selected and, and saved uh, if you're going to use different Twilio settings, whatever you enter up here will affect what shows down here in the phone numbers area. Um, I'm probably getting into a little too much detail now. I'll be getting into more detail in the users area on how all this stuff works. But um, now let's take a look at how the SMS messages work. Of course, I have a ton of just test messages in here playing around, but you as the admin see everything. You can create a message, send it to any list you want, uh, and but you can also see user activity and um, and what they're doing. So if I create a new SMS message, uh, you can create a title for it here. And um, this title is only for your references. I have a note here. It is not actually sent anywhere. It's just for your uh, when you see it in the list, you can tell what it is. And um, I'm not going to be very creative here. Just type in something and you can even assign this to a separate user if you want and um, uh, also click on the list that um, you want to send to so I have just a couple test lists here so I'm going to click that one and then it will 
uh, provide the phone numbers here on the right that I have access to for this for those lists and you have to pick a number to send from if I try to send this without without it, it's going to tell me I need to select the phone number so I want I want the text message to come from this number so that's what the user sees um, here's a little status message here saying that this message has not been sent yet and then um, you can either go ahead and publish it and it'll send it out immediately uh, or you can schedule it in the future so if I wanted to send this on another day and time or later today I could just type in that information here and it'll actually be scheduled for delivery later so if I go back into my list here we'll see my test message here and we'll see that it's scheduled you can actually go in here and change that if you like and using the quick edit. Alright, so now I want to flip over and, and show you what a, a user would look like. Um, let's take a quick look at users. Um, you can create, like I said, you can create um, users that have access to various lists. Uh, if I click on this user, you'll see that the, ro um, the role when it comes up is actually an SMS user. This is a test role I created, but uh, the new ones just say SMS user. Um, so when you create one of these users and that user logs in, if I go over to this user account, um, this is they would see a typical WordPress dashboard and then um, their profile that is typical or standard with WordPress. But they have also this SMS messages uh, option up here. So if they click here, this is where they would send messages or see messages they've already sent. So um, you can, uh, they're only going to see their messages. They cannot see anyone else's. So you can create as many users as you want, as many lists as you want, and uh, they can each have their own login and access to one or more lists. So if I go into new uh, message, um, you can see that um, I can create my title and message like uh, before, except now I can only see the pizza, pizza shop list that I have access to as this user. Um, and then um, select the number and go ahead and publish that or schedule it and all that type of thing. So, okay, that was a very quick overview of the new features. I probably even left some things out, but uh, we're getting a little long here. So uh, thanks for checking it out.